Hi. Uh, um, my name is David Phillips. I lived in Los Angeles for eight years as an actor, writer, designer, child's improv teacher, production assistant. I am hoping to save you roughly eight years of turmoil. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so these, Los Angeles is like, the most unaffordable place you've ever tried to live in. These green zones right here, um, the, those green, whatever, I like pointing at things. Green zones, um, those are the only safe places to live. It looks like a sad face. That just happens to be the case. Um, I lived in Culver City where it's not in a green zone and my neighbor saw dead people and when I moved to North Hollywood, bodies got dumped there and my SWAT team my local SWAT team like raided my neighbors. So, also, don't eat fast food. Pretty obvious, but like it's everywhere and I ate solely like cardboard cuisine. Go find the hole in a wall that has a long line and you'll be great. Um, native attire, right. So, rich people throw out their clothes after like a year. So, go get it at the thrift store. It's amazing. I'm so most of my clothes are, are not mine. Um, so, uh, m all the people that you meet have like way better names than you. So, you'll run into people like America, Zippy, Tuffy, Sharky. Seriously? That's such a better name. Um, don't make phone calls at home. Save them for when you're in the car because you're going to be in your car like 24 hours a week and that way you're productive. Congratulations. Um, people keep asking about like downtown that it's like an up and coming thing. So they tried the gentrification thing and then ran out of money half the way through. So it's kind of like barter town. <laughs> I'm glad we all got that reference. That's good. Um, so most of you are probably going to move there to be part of the industry, to be an actor. Well, guess what? You're not an actor. You're a professional auditioner. <laughs> Congratulations. I know you're all really happy about that. Um, my goal was to be an independent film star, and what I became, the closest I got was being in a horror film where I piss on my own decapitated head. <laughs> Great, yeah. Um, so, career highlights, which are awesome. Um, I have danced with Richard Simmons. I have kissed an orangutan. I was goth on the Tyra Banks show. And the peak of my career was being in a McDonald's ad. I fought hard to kiss every one of those frogs. And when people ask you, how do you pay for acting? How do you, what's the other career? And I'm like, all the world's a Starbucks and all the men and women merely baristas. <laughs> all the English majors are like, yeah, that's funny. Um, so. When you are an actor, you're going to need an agent. Here's the thing. Um, I've had agents disavow, disappear, and die. My fourth agent pulled a buck knife on me in between showing me YouTube videos of people getting electrocuted. Best agent ever. Um, when you lose auditions, you're like, oh no, I didn't get that Nickelodeon show, that one line. I was perfect for it. You go, build, go build a house or go hiking, you've lost perspective. Um, when you are designing in LA, because you gotta make a real income, um, it's great because everybody needs a website for their acting or their improv troupe or their production company, but none of them have any money. So when you say you'll do it for $300, it's like, $200? I don't have $100. Well, I only got like 50 bucks. You know what, here's $25 and a ticket to my free concert. But it's only because I like you. And if you know anybody in the industry, if you could just bring them. No? Yes? No? <laughs> there are hidden gems in Los Angeles. I was called at 9.30 at night and I snuck into the fourth second um, grilled cheese invitational and it was the best night of my life. And so <laughs> there are these little tiny moments of ecstasy hiding there. Um, the other way to survive is to move on. Um, I found a hot chick and I moved to New York. And uh, <laughs> I love you. Um, I graduated from ITP, I interned at Apple, and I'm working at Techstars. It's amazing. Woo! Woo! Speaking of Techstars, it is, for those of you who don't know, it is a New York City tech incubator, and I work with CEOs every day, but in the McDonald's ad, I'm a CEO of a tech startup. And the startup fails. And that is how irony works. Um, my name is at Sipping Inc. sometimes on the, t on the Twitter, and thank you, New York, and thank you, Ignite and thank you ITP and 
I'm out. <laughs> Thank you, David.